How's it going everyone? Welcome to my video. Uh, my name is Manuel Nakarado. I have no ties with anybody. I think this is a good preface to everything. So I just want to make that clear that I, I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this because I think it can better the community. Uh, I think that's important for this video to understand. This is a very serious subject. I'm going to be talking about the COVID vaccine. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm not I'm not biased about it. I'm absolutely pro-vaccine. The vaccine, there's, it's proven to work. Um, so personally, I know people who have been unvaccinated, who have passed away from the virus, and I, 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 I truly believe, because they were healthy individuals, they were under 50 years old. And so I truly do believe that if they were vaccinated, they at least would have had a higher chance of living. I also know people who have been vaccinated and have gotten COVID. Vaccination, it's like the flu shot. The flu shot is a vaccination. So a flu shot will not, like you, you can still get the flu if you have the flu shot. So it's the same difference. The Pfizer, the Pfizer vaccine, the efficacy of it, the efficiency of it rather is for people above the age of 80 years old, it is above it is rough, it's, a, it's 89%. That is the efficiency of it. Meaning that people over the age of 80 have an 89% less likely to get symptomatic COVID. Also, and now it's FDA approved. So there's, like initially it was, uh, initially it was pushed a little bit faster. It wasn't quite FDA approved because it, it skipped the third, the, the third piece of FDA approval because it was an emergency use activation situation. Um, but now it's FDA approved, it's proven to be safe at this point in time. I get if people don't wanna get vaccinated. That, absolutely, I understand like, the world's a confusing place, you don't know who to trust, but from my, not that I'm an expert, but from my personal average United States citizen point of view, the best, people to listen to would be like a doctor or someone who helped develop the vaccine. They know what, what you're dealing with. Um, and uh, I've, I've done my own research, not that my research means any more than yours or any more than anyone else's, but the research I've done on Google Scholar and many databases shows that if the majority of people get vaccinated, we're more likely to achieve herd immunity. I believe that if we all talked to our doctors and went to research journals and read those, that it would help us all gather a greater understanding for the vaccines and not just the vaccines, anything in general, because research journals are usually not always, this is, we're gonna put an asterisk by this statement because not always, but research journals tend to be the like not like a news source a news source can be really biased and, and then also along with getting the majority of the population uh vaccinated inoculated we we need to we need to look at like the moral situation as well because passports our COVID-19 passports aren't they're kind of posing a moral situation because we're, we're vaccinated or like someone from a from like the United States could go to somewhere in Africa and be vaccinated but morally is that okay like how much is the tourism helping them and also what if that person from the United States has COVID-19 they could infect that one person from Africa somewhere in Africa or an underdeveloped country rather that then it's gonna, like, they can't just, like, take a few weeks off. They have to continually, continually work. They'll, they'll be in contact with many people and it will potentially, like, ravage their whole country, like what happened to India in early 2021. So I truly believe that in order, like, we all wanna get through this pandemic. I truly believe that if we want to get through it as fast as possible, to achieve herd immunity, we need to kind of treat it like the flu in a way. Like we all need to try to get our flu shots every single year until we gather it under control to achieve herd immunity. 
It's the fast, the more people that are inoculated, the more under control it will be. The more people that are vaccinated, the more under control it will be. Uh, and I think we need to depoliticize it. It's too politicized right now because like people are listening to political leaders rather than medical professionals. And I feel like that's kind of a large part of the issue right now because it's politicized and people like some people aren't going to trust the the conservatives and some people aren't going to trust the liberals where we kind of need to meet in the middle and need to talk to medical professionals do our own research and come to a conclusion free thinking i say this because this is a serious situation because people are dying from this people like the next person to pass away could be your grandma your mom your child it could be anyone it could be your dad it could be someone really close to you is the main point i'm making right there uh so i really believe we need to come together as like a nation and even a world possibly and like as a family just show each other support that we're trying to get through this rather than like us like getting angry at each other we need to get together and really try to take this virus head on and like really just become a big family and i really believe if we do that i think we will get through this thank you